All right, kids, welcome back. Um, I'm going to try something new today for me on the Dutch oven. I have never cooked any kind of a dessert on the Dutch in the Dutch oven. I'm going to try something today. Actually, strike that. I did maybe do something called monkey bread way back in the pop-up camper days. We're talking years ago. We'll try something a little bit more traditional today. Just go over the ingredients. We'll walk you through the process step by step. You need, obviously, your six apples. We need our oats. We have three cups. One cup flour. Two cups brown sugar. And then we're going to go with a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon and nutmeg, respectively. So, let's see how that goes. Bear, what do you think? All right. So we have uh, started to assemble our apple crisp for the Dutch oven, and I'm using my KitchenAid Artisan mixer. Forgot I even had this thing until the coronavirus epidemic. And I'm going to be making the crust with this. Um, I'll show you how that works in a minute. I've sliced the apples, and I've mixed the, the bowl with cinnamon nutmeg with the apples. I wish you could smell that. And I'm going to basically make the crust using the oats, flour, salt, uh, brown sugar, and one other ingredient that I forgot to mention in the first clip, and that is uh, a cup of melted butter, which is on the stove top right now, melting up. So I'll be right back. All right. So we're in good shape. This is locked in lock mode right now. I'm going to unlock it. Lift it. We're gonna pour our one cup of melted butter in with the already mixed up brown sugar, flour, and here come our three cups of oats. Put this bad boy back down. It's a solid piece of machinery. And we're gonna start making the dough. It has five different speeds, maxing out at 10, so it must uh, incrementally go up by levels of two. Give it a good stirring. So now we're going to assemble our Dutch oven for our Dutch oven apple crisp. Okay, our next step is to take our mixture here, press it. And 
bottom. I'm excited to really bake in the Dutch oven. A little trial and error. So we have about half of the mixture. On the bottom. Now we're layering our apples. the rest of this crust on top. Now we just have to go get that fire going. I'm going to bake this for about 45 minutes. All right, it's a beautiful evening. Uh, we have our coals ready to go. So we're going to get this puppy set up for our baking. Like I said, with the baking method, you're going to go double the number of coals in comparison to the diameter of your oven, with three quarters of those coals going on the top. So, we're going to set our timer for about 45 minutes. So we had to make a slight adjustment, no big deal, we're baking pretty good, but we're almost at the tail end of that 45 minutes and we still got another, I'd say 20 minutes to go. So like I said, there's no set time, it's done when it's done, you have to adjust to those circumstances. But um, still have some good heat yet, generating all of the radiating. Coals going and uh, make sure we keep that heat going, maybe even turn it up a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so let's check her out. stuff out on the dairy. I don't think I used enough oatmeal. 
I'll make that adjustment next time instead of three. I'll go with four cups. But this might have worked out great. I took one of the, one of the two pie crusts, cut them up into strips, and laid it right over there. So now we're going to let this cool off. Bring dessert in for everybody. Hey, give me that toy. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Get it. Good boy. Give me that toy. You give me that toy, you. I'm going to come and get it. Oh, boy. Let's get another dog. We have no backyard. <laughs> Sounds like the Kentucky Derby. Come here, buddy. Go get it. Go get it. Got a boy. No digging, Bear. That's a good boy. Oh, there he goes. Up, 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 up. <laughs> no dig. Good boy. Good boy. Don't dig. All right, we're going to try it out now. Let it cool down a little bit. Sean's going to try a small portion. We're on the lookout for the vanilla ice cream. You're good. Honest opinion. Hot. Very hot. And I, that's even been cooled down. Imagine that with some vanilla ice cream right now. It's good. It is. It's very good. All right. All right, everybody. Peace, love, safety. You know, whatever. <laughs>